Now before AMD makes the jump to Sun 3 and 4th gen Ryzen, it turns out they got yet another 3rd gen Ryzen processor for us and in today's video guys we're going to cover everything you need to know about these two brand new CPUs coming, we got hardware specs, possible performance, pricing as well as release date and spoiler alert they are releasing and coming out in May in 2020 so very very soon in other words and if that wasn't enough I actually got a surprise for you guys that I'm saving for last and so you definitely want to stick around till the end hey what is up guys welcome to Orbin hardware my name is robin i am a swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent all right so let's talk about these two mysterious processors so it turns out amd is preparing uh, two additional sun 2 based processors for desktop now, these are third gen ryzen processors based on the same recipe as the rest of the third gen lineup what makes them interesting first and foremost is the price and it turns out in the plans to release uh, both these two CPUs alongside the B550 chipset and I made a video a few days ago covering AMD's upcoming B550 motherboards and in case you're curious you'll find that video down below. Right so two processors first up we got Ryzen 3 3100 and this is a four core CPU with eight threads it's got a base clock of 3.6 and a turbo of 3.9 got 18 megabytes of cash and the price tag of 99 dollars guys next up we got ryzen 3 3300x again we got four cores and eight threads 65 watt tdp and a base clock of 3.8 and a turbo of 4.3 gigahertz we got 18 megabytes of cash and a 120 us dollar price tag and when i saw this i was like wow this can actually be pretty good think about it for a moment a third gen ryzen for 99 bucks now out of these two guys which one excites you the most i have to say i'm most excited for the highest clocked 3300x the only slight problem i have here is like four cores now what do you guys think is a four core processor in a gaming pc in 2020 worth it would you guys be interested if i decided to give these a try let me know in the comments below i might as well make a video if you guys are interested i'm not gonna lie i am tempted I'm building a cheap gaming pc soon system and see how it performs but the question is yes four cores seems a bit outdated especially for gaming so let me know your thoughts in the comments below so both processors are four core models equipped with smt or multi-threading technology the biggest difference here lies at the clock frequencies where the 3300x has a base frequency of 3.8 and a maximum turbo of 4.3 and the cheaper one takes a step down to 3.6 and the turbo of 3.9 Nine. Now here's the cool thing, they are expected to reach stores next month with a recommended price of $120 and $99 respectively. And this is a picture showing how the uh, CPU die looks. Now according to WCCF Tech, the difference between you know each processor is designed, it seems like the Ryzen 3 3100 will suffer from latency issues, making the 3300X the choice that's for a gamer. Early benchmarks reveal the upcoming 3300 X is performing about the same as an Intel Core i7 7700K, so pretty cool considering its 120 price tag. And this can potentially be a CPU to consider for anyone looking to build a very cheap gaming PC. Now, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, alongside these processors, AMD have also revealed that they are going to drop the B550 chipset, and motherboards are expected to launch on June 16. And if you're interested about these motherboards, uh, you find a video covering pretty much everything you need to know about these uh, b550 chipsets down below it seems like pretty much all motherboard vendors are ready and we got asus ace rock biostar colorful gigabyte and msi most models have already been leaked and with that said time for the surprise this is a good one in addition to these new uh, just announced cpus it seems like amd is preparing two apus based on the mobile reno r apu family you know the just released 40 and ryzen 4 or mobile this includes the 4800hs which i reviewed a few days ago and in case you're curious how these performs you can check out my review of the asus Sephiroth g14 with 4th gen ryzen for mobile down below anyway these upcoming processors will be the first apu models to use the sun 2 and 7 nanometer design and guys i'm telling you these apus are insane i'm able to run less graphics intense games with an average frame rate of over 60 fps many 
times. Anyway, according to Rogue Game, who's been a well-known leaker, who's been pretty accurate with information in the past, is now leaking information that is suggesting AMD is working on an APU processor with the codename Arctic that again integrates Sand 2 cores with a Vega-based graphics section for the AM4 socket, which in practice means 4TI Ryzen for mobile in the AM4 socket. The specs, however, seems to be pretty modest. We got a TDP value of 35 watts and a base frequency of just 3 GHz, while the graphics selection is clocked at 1.2 GHz. Now, without mentioning specific performance results, the leak also mentions that Arctic achieves slightly lower graphics performance than the mobile processor, but the processor part itself should outperform a Ryzen 4700U. Now the question I have, is this the only APUs in the gut, or do they have more planned APUs as well? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you care about more APUs from AMD? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.